Hey guys, Brett here. Welcome back to Farm Simulator 2017, the old stream farm at Vintage Farming Series, episode number two. We we're checking out our um, girlfriend's undies and our grandma's undies and stuff. Anyway, <laughs> focus on farming. So what we did last episode was we seeded field one. We've cut the grass in field G3. Now we've got field 10, 15 and 4 that need to be done. So let's check them out. Um, so growth, cultivated, cultivated, field 10 is cultivated as well. So my idea was, obviously we know we need to get collect the grass from up there, but uh, where's our seed up? It's just here. So if we grab our other tractor and we'll get um, a hired worker maybe to go and um, start working on our other fields. Now you guys let me know what you want me to do. My other thought was maybe... I could start cultivating or ploughing or seeding um, and then sort of just do it for a little while, say 5-10 minutes or whatever and then say skip through to when I'm finished, watch out for the tractor there, skip through to when I'm finished and um, then continue on with the episode or do you want to watch the entire thing, would you prefer to watch me cultivate the entire fields or just sort of skip through and try and get through the days as, sort of, as quick as we can. So. Um, field 10 is the closest field, except for our field 4, which is at home. There shouldn't be any traffic because I've turned it off, but we'll get um, our hard worker to work on field 10. Get him to start seeding. So I've got wheat on that field. We'll put um, another lot of wheat into this field in here, which I think this is the right... Is that the right way? I don't think it's the right access. I think that's our grass field in there. I think the next access is... Yeah, there it is for our field number 10 which obviously it's going to have a bit of an issue I th believe when we get to the end and they go to turn around I don't know if the hide work will be able to do it without having an issue so this may not work yet so there we go we'll get him started anyway let's head back to the farm so we're going to need to jump in our other Massey Ferguson 600 here but we're going to have to go and collect our forage wagon so we can go and collect our grass to bring it down to the cows. We're running over chickens left, right, and center. We're also going to have to put um, some water in here for the sheep, which the sheep are. Is that the sheep? No, that's the pigs just there, isn't it? The sheep are over here, so. We've already got our sheep in there ready. They're just. They're a little bit hungry. We've got no food, we've got no water, so head out this way. We need to go up and um, start collecting our grass. I did find a couple of harvesters that we can actually use now for our vintage farming series. Um, so if you guys, as I said, if you guys have still got an idea of what harvesters or trackers we should be using and any sort of equipment, whether it be cultivators or, you know, plows or forage wagon or anything make sure you leave it in the comment section I'll check them out make sure you leave a link I know the link will come up as likely spam but I will actually approve your comment go and check it out and um, give you credit for it if you guys have put something in that actually turns out to be pretty good something that we actually use so let's quickly check out no our workers still going up and possibly back down on another run I'm not sure if he's finished one run of that field yet or not so I guess we'll just have to wait and see got our noisy forage wagon on the back here try and pick up as much grass as we can it's still a little bit difficult to see it's a, better, uh, it's a little bit easier in the cab view to see what we're getting so we're obviously not going to get all of the grass off the field because of the way we cut it, but do our best to get as much as we can. Probably going to have to do a couple of trips back to the farm with um, the grass to drop back to our cows. So I hope you guys are actually enjoying the series so far. Um, so I do apologise for not being able to continue our mining, construction and economy map. I was really looking forward to it, but just with the, the glitch going on with that, that um, wheel loader, I just, yeah. It's a little bit frustrating, and we can't do it without that wheel loader, to be honest. Otherwise, it's going to take us way too long to get anything done, so. 
thought we'd try something a little bit different, a little bit of historic farming, or well, vintage farming. Um, also, we're waiting for. I'm, I've got Gold Rush, the game. I'm a Kickstarter supporter of that. I've got the, I guess the tech demo or whatever you want to call it, um, available to use and to record videos of. I'm not going to do it just yet. I'm going to wait until hopefully they introduce a save feature because if I'm going to do like a sort of little mini pre-release series, I don't want to have to start again every time. And I don't want to do like a half an hour video and then that's it. You know, I'd rather. You know, get stuck in and do, you know, maybe four or five, ten episodes of us, you know, doing a bit of gold, gold mining there. And um, if we're going to do that, we need to have the save feature, save and load feature. We don't, we don't want to be starting from the start again and again and again. So it's a little bit frustrating. There's no save feature as yet, but hopefully they'll implement that soon. I know they've absolutely smashed their Kickstarter amount starting amount of 10,000 pounds they're willing and truly way above that now so um, and I, th I don't know what backer number I was I don't know if I can find out but I know I was within the first 2,000 people that backed it so I did get the first the first round of demos to get sent out to me which is good I haven't played a great deal of it probably half an hour but it's interesting it's going to be good something I'm going to really enjoy I believe and with the more people that are actually supporting it um, with Kickstarter and that sort of stuff they're going to release more stuff like now they've because the Kickstarter amount has gone through a certain amount they're going to release it for consoles so hopefully PS4s and Xbox Ones and that sort of stuff maybe even the new HD versions of the PS4 and Xboxes and stuff like that so they've also you know going to release dozers they're going to release hopefully dump trucks and you know bigger wash plants all that sort of stuff the more money they get the more they can actually work on getting new gear sorted and organised earlier. So obviously it's, they're a small team, but the more Kickstarter amount, Kickstarter amount, I should say, the more Kickstarter amount they get, the more they can work on and release stuff. So and more they can actually hire people. So we're nearly at 100% now with this trailer on our forage wagon, and our helper E is blocked. We know probably blocked by the big power poles in the middle of that um, field. So we'll just fill this up and then we'll, we'll go and help him out. Unless he's got himself out of that predicament he was in. There we go, and we're full. So let's quickly go... No, nah, he's still stuck behind a tree. Um, start it up. So he's actually missed a little bit of stuff here. Um, what field is that? Field 9. Okay, well that's... That's a tiny little field, Field 9. That's actually pretty good for sugar beets, which is... Or potatoes, which is already on it. So... So we quickly... We might as well quickly do this ourselves. And then rehire him to do the other side. We will need to... Well, we may have to actually come back um, a little bit later on with a chainsaw and get rid of some of these trees if it's going to be too much of an issue. I mean, I don't mind doing all this by myself. Um, as I said, I can I can record a little bit of um, cultivating and ploughing and seeding and whatever we're doing and then sort of just stop the recording, come back when I'm just about to finish the field and then continue on to something else or depending on what you guys want, if you want to see everything, then I will do absolutely everything. I don't mind. I just, yeah, if, I, if we're going to record for people, I want people to enjoy it. I don't want you guys to get bored seeing the same stuff over and over and over again. So, see, there's a few trees there that we can probably cut down that are going to be in the way. So, let's um, head back into our tractor. We've still left it running. Probably shouldn't have left it running while we walked away, but. So, we've got, I reckon, probably nearly half a field done. To come out here and go out the gate. So we've got 25,000 litres of grass. There's probably going to be way more than we actually need for the current amount of sheep we've got, but we'll have to wait and see. So what I'll do is I'll take this down, we'll unload this into our sheep, and then we'll grab our water trailer, and then get some water straight in there as well so we can get our productivity up, get some wool started, and also get, hopefully, the sheep being happy and... Um, 
doing their thing and producing some baby sheep. That'll be the plan. Could obviously come in our other entrance here, the other entrance to the farm. And kill a couple of chickens. They really need to stop running in front of us all the time. So this should be... Is this the food area or is this... Because I don't, don't believe they take straw, do they? Oh, actually, no, that might be where the, the wool comes out. Okay, so... Let's have a look. I don't actually know. So that'll be where the wool comes out. That'll be where the water goes, maybe. Uh, where's their food? Probably should have a good look at this before, shouldn't we? Um, there's nowhere in here that I can see. Obviously, if we go across and have a look at our animals, we need water and grass. So, yeah, we need to work out where we've got to put them, I suppose. There's only one trough there. There should be another trough somewhere. There's not one there. So, that'll be where the bales stack. And there's like another little square here. So... I don't know, Look, but let's open this up. Let's try and reverse this straight into here. Is this where we need to unload? No, that could be where the water goes. I'll assume this is where the food goes in. Yep, that must be where the food goes. Also, that's where we drop our sheep off. Okay, grass is not accepted here. Okay, so where do we put the grass? That's where we put the water. Maybe do we just back straight into here? Is this where they want the grass? In here? Nope. I said we've looked the whole way around and we can't find any other troughs anywhere to go put in anything. I'm not just going to, can't just dump it on the ground, of course. There should be another feeding trough somewhere. Which, for the life of me, I can't see it anyway. Which is extremely weird. I would have thought you'd have to. Oh, you serious? That is the trough there. How the hell did we miss that? Well, that's embarrassing. I thought that must have been where the bales are, unless this is where the bales are. But I reversed back and it didn't give me a trigger, so... Okay. Um, Helper D has completed his task. He's missed a fair bit down this end, but... Um, reverse him back. Get him to do a run down this side. Go back. Um, so that's all... Is that all they require? Yep, this feeds them for six days. Okay, so I'm going to have to shut this gate if it'll allow. So there we go, shut the gate. Might just have to store the grass in here. I know we've got bales and all this other sort of stuff in the way, but we've got way too much grass already. I know we could put some grass in for the cows. If I remember correctly, the pigs don't take grass, do they? No, they don't. So we'll just... Um, Back right over into this corner and we'll put as much grass over here as we can. I'm not going to allow us to put too much on the ground. Come forward and Move back over the other way, put some more down. Still not letting us put any more down anywhere. Come on. Nope, that's it. So where's our cows? Um, 
straight ahead. So let's go and see if we can find a spot over here. So we're going to have to feed the cows. I'm not sure what those spots are. So we've got our silage areas here. I'm not sure if that's silage or if that's... I think that'll be silage as well. Or is it manure? So go down here and have a look. Ah, it's chaff. That's good. Back right down the back here and we'll just stick all our grass in here for now. So we know where it all is. While he's doing that, let's go and check out this guy. He hasn't completed his task, but anyway, we'll finish it off for him. I think it is struggling a little bit. So there we go. Lift this up. Now we need to go and find field 15. So we head down this way. Try not to run over too many signs. There's our beautiful sheep over here. Now, seed. Some barley, canola, soybeans. That's all the oil, seed, radish, grass. So let's uh, let's maybe put down some soybeans over in this field, field 15. Now this is probably part of the reason why I took traffic off, to be honest, because there's not a great deal of room on these roads. The roads are very tight. Um, we're gonna need. We're going to have to come back and fix this up anyway. You might as well start the guy here, but we're going to have to come back and fix up either side. There's going to be a gap here that he's going to miss, or she's going to miss, and a gap over there. So let's have a look. So still not fully empty yet. I'm hoping I did. Um, I did get a couple of things. I did look at, as I said, harvesters. Some old school ones. So we've got the Don... 1500B, 1500A, both got exactly the same tanks. Another 1500B, which is made by somebody else. And then we've got the 1201 NSE, 1201 and the 1201 Green, which are a little bit smaller than these guys. Um, and I did, I think if it's actually come through properly, I think I did get, I tried to, I tried to get an old school. Um bulldozer but yeah I don't think it downloaded properly uh, I did get another water tank so yeah not exactly sure if that came through I don't think it has now universal techniques that wouldn't be in there um, yeah not exactly sure it's not in placeables anywhere, so... All good. I might have a look at it off camera anyway. You guys don't need to see me looking at stuff, so... The guy's up there still taking care of the field for us. Or she, the lady, I should say, is up there still cleaning the field with um, some soybeans for us. We're going to head down and pick up the rest of this grass now. Still, still trying to unload. Thought there was a weird noise in the background there. Oh, let's look out the stop sign. So we have to come along and fertilise these fields as well. Uh, also, going to have to seed our big field near the farm. I think field four. We might do that with canola because it's a bigger field. Um, we do actually need corn as well for the pigs, so we could do corn, but I don't know if we have an old school cedar for corn. That's the only thing, which is going to be a little bit, a little bit outside of our like vintage farming stuff that we we want to do. So, so sewing machine it doesn't do corn. Um, no corn. That does do corn, but see, it's too new, so I'm going to have to wait to do corn. I have to find another sewing machine that will actually allow us to do corn. Um, our headers, we should have... Uh, yep, yeah, so that's corn and sunflower header. And we've got the same for the rostel mash. 
corn and sunflower plus the normal stuff corn and sunflower um, corn and sunflower I don't know why there's P Ju6 PSP 10 they're different so there's six different so I should say three the same but they're all different mods I guess made by different people so but we've got that so we can actually harvest it we just haven't got anything to plant it yet which is old school like vintage farming so we will have to come back after we've found something that is suitable so if you guys know of anything cultivators, cedars, plows, tractors all of the above anything historic that you guys or vintage that you guys have used in your own games that you like to use as I said leave a link in the comments section I will check them out um, it will come up as likely spam as I said but I will accept it I will approve it and um, have a look at it and if I use it I'll give you credit and also obviously I will approve it so other guys who are watching this series may not have known of that certain mod so they can actually use it themselves as well so you won't just be helping me you'll be helping everyone else so if you are a modder and you do have some vintage stuff then as I said yeah make sure you leave a link we'll definitely check it out I know Black Sheep Modding have another uh, map coming out very soon which does look very good so it's another thing I may need to check out which is another I would say another vintage farming sort of series as well that would be it's another very well created map they do a lot of good work they've obviously done these massive focus and tractors and these tractors are pretty good they're in the mod contest and uh, I'm hoping they do take the win because it's a great great mod a lot of good detail the few little things that I think they missed only as far as stuff that you can use like maybe a couple more, like more cedars like one like a corn and cedar and that sort of corn and sunflower cedar forage wagon they missed um, you know like a water trailer they could have had an old school water trailer old school harvesters sugar beet old school sugar beet and potato harvesters you know things like that they really need to, to get mods like that out as well for people that want to do 100% vintage farming series we don't want to go hiring like brand new pieces of gear we are out in the middle of old school Europe so we want to be using the old school gear I don't think I downloaded any new tractors or anything I know I did get a few new mods but I can't remember exactly what I downloaded I need to sit down and go through and have another good look again and work out exactly what we downloaded a quick look at the map and have a look so helper H Harriet we'll call her Harriet she's still down there seeding away so we'll um, drop off this grass, pick up our fertiliser fertiliser spreader and we'll go down and start fertilising down there got to fertilise our field 10 just here and our field 5 I think it is, 15, there you go um, that she's working on now so I'll take this stuff straight into the cows the silage pit I should say so one of these would be I assume that'll be solid manure that'll be liquid manure in there you'd have to open the door here I believe if you jump down and have a look to find out where we're going to put the grass so the grass will go in this side and the other side will be where the cows can come in and out and you head straight down through here to put the water into there or through the other gate around the other side uh, what would that be there, probably where you drop off the cows I suppose so we'll keep this gate shut so they, they can't get out so we can back in here and put a little bit of grass in which is going to be a very very tight I'm trying to get this trailer in through there but give it full lock straighten it back up kill some more chickens watch out for our wheelbarrow there gonna unload, we're not going to unload a lot because there's, we've got no cows as we know we won't take the whole trailer load no, there we go, they will come out hard left 
take the rest down here. I'm assuming this is silage as well. Um, I'm not sure what's up there. I haven't even had a look, to be honest. I haven't had a good look around the map, which is probably something I should have done before we, before I decided to start this series. But I know this map is a very, very good map. Like I said, it's made very well. There we go. All empty. Good news. So now we can go and drop this back off. Let's stick it up here in between our, our baler and our water trailer, which that was actually what I was meant to do before, wasn't it? Before we went back down to get the rest of the grass, was actually grab the water trailer. But anyway, I did try and download another water trailer, but a more old school version. This is pretty old school anyway, but um, it was not in slurry tanks. That's the only one we've got. Um, actually, that doesn't even take water. That just takes slurry. Yes, that's a bit of a, a bit of a pain there, isn't it? Okay, so that's our slurry spread up. So that's not our water trailer. Um, I can work out where they would be. You're probably smacking heads going, we know where they are. So I thought the standard water trailers were here. That's fuel. But there's no water in there. Animals. There's that one. That's what we know. But the other one hasn't come through yet. That I'm sure I downloaded one. But it's not there. Universal Technic. Those, they're too new, those trailers, of course. Um, that does take water, it only takes 2,000 litres, so we could possibly pick that up, but it's probably not really worth it to be honest. So let's go back to animals, let's just grab the Joskin, we'll just lease it, because we haven't got the money for it. Um, and just to save a little bit of time, um, we'll get rid of that, um, we'll see if we can find, there it is, Aquatrans water trailer, which should have been reset down here, there it is. So we'll grab some water now and bring it down to the sheep and obviously we need to shut their gate before they all decide to run away so Helper H has completed their task I don't think they'll be fully completed so we'll have to go and have a good look I'll refill that um, not too bad a job I'm just obviously going to have to go and touch up a few little spots that she has missed around this side also, there's going to be a decent amount up there that she's missed. So it's not too bad. Saves us a fair bit of time doing it. But as I said, let me know what you want to do. If you'd rather see me do all this, then leave it in the comments section. She's missed an absolute heap up this end, so... No, you haven't completed your task. I don't know why they continue to think they have when they have it. I don't know why you're going backwards and you should be going forwards. Yep, I have no idea what they're doing now. Anyway, head up this way. Press the help button. Hopefully she will finish this off a little bit better than the last lady did. Start this back up again. We'll go and take our water into here. So give the sheep what they need. Increase them to 100% productivity. We can reverse the trailer a little bit better than this, it'll be good. Unload, jump down and make sure she's filling up. Yep, she's full. So, still got a little bit of water left in the tank. Uh, so we might go and stick it in over here, out of the way. We're not going to refill it because it's cost us a lot of money. Leave our water trailer in there. Uh, where's our fertilizer spreader? There he is. To pick that up. We're going to have to go and use this now to 
fertilize these fields we're going the wrong way but we've come down here to shut this gate so the sheep don't go getting out there we go keep a good close eye on them go back to our animals now which it shouldn't have changed just yet um, productivity is still zero but we know it's full so it's gonna start working very soon um, they're still having an absolute shocker these hired workers anyway so I'm really thinking we're gonna have to start doing this stuff ourselves then again even I'm not picking everything up could be the cedar itself it could be just the the shape of the field or the lay of the land or a bit of both a bit of everything because the land you can see there it's not flat it sort of rises up to the left a little bit so it's, it's definitely struggling to, to seed it all properly 100 percent there we go that's not too bad so quickly lift it up back over here and see what we can do with these few little spots. We should be able to get this one okay. Maybe if we head up the hill. Yeah, then again, still didn't pick it up overly well. So there's a little spot over here that they can finish off. So hopefully there's enough seed in the tank for them to finish this off. So we'll just head down here, hire the worker again. One of the boys has come out to help us today. So 43% at the moment fertilizer. We don't have enough money to buy any more, and I don't think we have any left, any solid fertilizer. I think we've only got liquid and um, seed. Liquid and then seeds there, so we don't have enough to fill it up yet. We can't afford to buy any. We can take out a, a uh, small loan if we need to. We'll try and avoid that if we can though, of course. We still need to get some money to, to buy some harvesters yet, but we have got a little bit of a little bit of stuff in our storage tanks, which came with the farm when we purchased it. So we'll head in here now and um, start fertilising this field straight away. So he's completed his task. He couldn't have finished that already. Obviously, he hasn't done everything 100%. Still a fair bit they've missed here, but we won't be too concerned, I suppose. I said we can we can do it all ourselves if we want to. Probably will be a better idea to make sure we don't miss anything. Make sure it's done correctly. So they seem to be struggling a little bit, the hide workers. So that's this field fertilize we've only got one stage of fertilization too that's I think that's what I've got the option set as if you guys know of any I don't know if there would be but any um, vintage or historic sort of weeders whoop, that was a shocking turn let me know as well put that in the comments section pretty cool to get one of those so we can actually get free fertilization as we know um, or if you prefer us to do plowing um, cultivating then seed the oil seed radish cultivate it back in then um, reseed and then come back and fertilize again and do three stage fertilization. We can do that as well. I said it's you guys let me know what you want to see. So there's no way he's finished that. Okay, so looks like we're gonna have to do it ourselves. But as far as they're concerned they're finished because they there's nothing for them to turn around and do so we'll quickly get it done ourselves quickly fertilize and then we'll call that the end of our second episode we've gone over half an hour again but um, I think that's probably going to be a sign of things to come get sidetracked and things take a lot longer than I guess I really think that they they would so this will be a couple of more passes I think if we can actually pick this stuff up properly about doing donuts and 360s everywhere. There you go, head back down. I know we missed a little bit there, but so be it. 
can do a little bit of logging as well if you guys want to see that. Um, I was thinking about starting a 100% logging series, but um, time is going to be a bit of a factor. I'm still trying to focus a lot on my motorsport manager stuff. I'm also focusing a lot on iRacing dirt stuff at the moment. So as far as other series go, like we've got farm sim going, so that'll be like it's pretty much three series plus our iRacing stuff, which is more than enough for me to keep me busy already. But Formula One 2017 should be out in just over a month's time, so that's something else I'm gonna focus on. And also Gold Rush when that comes out and gets released properly. Um, Car Mechanic Simulator 18 will be, should be out soon as well, so there's a few other games to focus on as well, so another Farm Sim 17 series is going to be a little bit difficult for me to do, but maybe we can do this for a little while until we've done everything, there's not a lot left to do, then maybe we can focus on just a logging series after that. Oh yeah, we'll park this tractor over here out of the way so it's not on the road, jump back in our tractor here that we left running again start fertilizing I like fertilizer spreaders but you just it's hard to get I guess 100% coverage like without overlapping or that sort of stuff onto the left hand side because I don't know exactly how far it spreads there's no sort of indicators whereas if you're using a, a sprayer you've got an indicator to tell you sort of where it's gonna spray with this it sort of just throws it out there So we should have enough fertiliser to finish this field, which will be good. We're going to have to buy some more anyway. Um, I do have some auto load trailers, which we will use. I know they're not historic or vintage farming trailers, but if you guys do know of any auto loading old school trailers, as I said, about a lot of other stuff and leave it in the, in the comments section so I can go and pick them up because I'd rather use an auto loading trailer than have me try and load it myself a lot quicker and a lot more embarrassing a lot less embarrassing I should say than using like a front end loader and that sort of stuff so that's that field done so we'll call it an episode now guys I'll get these tractors back to the field off camera and um I guess there's not a lot we can do now except wait for the the fields to be ready to harvest. So actually field four is what we're gonna do next. So I might do that off camera, get that set up off camera, and then um we'll come back for our next episode we might start harvesting things. So we're gonna have to take out a bit of a loan to buy a harvester. So you guys let me know which harvester you think we should pick up. Should we use the Rostel Mash fifteen hundred B or A? Um and which mod, there's three of them there, or do we use the NSE 1200 one, green or the red one, they are only 4500 litre tanks, these ones are 6000, but our truck that we've got back at the farm anyway, it only takes 3000 litres, so if we're going to use that for loading and unloading, then we could, that'll be pretty cool, otherwise we've got like our other old school trailers here, which I'm pretty sure we've got one of these at the farm anyway, but I don't think they look old school enough. We more need like an old old wooden sort of trailer. It would be pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you leave a comment, as I said, with the stuff that you recommend, that you've used, all that sort of stuff. You know, you let me know. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so to continue to follow our Old Stream Farm Vintage Farming series. It's been Bruno's Gaming. Thanks for watching. We'll see you when we come back for episode number three.